Hi everybody, I'm Susan Dilman Stills here at Mount Comfort RV and I'm with the Murata 315KS. Now this is a marvelous motorhome, folks. If you are looking now at a great priced Class A motorhome that's going to have a few features that are just a little bit better than everybody else, well then you found our coachman Murata 315KS. One of the reasons I wanted to stand here is it's a little difficult to see with the shade down, but one of the things that Coachman does is they sight this dash in such a way that you get a lot more visibility on the driver's side and on the passenger side, closer to the coach. What does that mean? Well, there are a lot less chances that you're going to run over somebody or something because you can see them closer to the coach. Of course, you've got the chrome mirrors here, just like every other great uh, motorhome. This is going to be a uh, fireglass uh, paint and decal here as we step back this way. We're going to look at the slide outs here. They do come standard with the awning toppers or the slide out toppers. Those are a great feature. What they're going to do is they're going to keep all that debris off the top of your slide out so that when you're leaving the campground you don't have to get on a ladder or on the roof and sweep everything off to make sure that your seals meet when that slide out pops in. Well, one of the things I wanted to show you too Little, little side camera right here. This is a turn signal activated sign camera. It's high definition, so it's going to give you a great view all the way down the coach and eliminate, oh, excuse me, eliminate blind spots. So if you're a little nervous about working with just your mirrors, this is going to help you a lot. We're going to swing back over to this side on the patio side and talk a little bit about the 315KS. It's going to have this slide out over, uh, excuse me, on the patio side. It's going to have a slide out topper and then it's also going to have an awning that comes off of the slide out. That means you're not losing any awning space, any camping space next to your coach. As we walk back just a little bit, you've got another awning here. So you really have awning coverage for almost the entire length of your coach. In here, of course, our entertainment center, we have Bluetooth speakers, nice television, great for a movie night. One of the things I like too about the Murata, they didn't go on the cheap here. We have the side slam doors, they're insulated, good bulb seal. This is going to be a little up and over storage, you can see on the other side, and it is lighted. That's something that they've added not too long ago. As we step to the back, you're going to see they have a great big frameless window here. Um, another window in the slide out box. It's going to make this a lot open and airy inside. Coachman locates their fuel fill right here on the back of the coach, so you really can reach it from both sides. So if one lane is closed, well, you've got another opportunity. You've already got your seven pin plug so you can tow. Your tow capacity on the 315KS is probably somewhere between four and 5,000 pounds. Um, if you do the math, of course the hitch is rated a little bit higher, but sometimes we need to make sure that we're exactly where we need to be before we're towing. Well, that's just a quick look at the outside of this Murata. I want to step inside and show you the floor plan because that's really what is the winner here. Folks, thanks for stepping inside the Murata 315KS. Appreciate that. What I want to show you is the drop-down bunk in all of your Coachman Class A motorhomes from the Pursuit all the way up to the Sports Coach. You're going to get this great drop-down bunk. Now, in some of them, it will be manual. In the Murata level, which is their medium or their, their second step up in the Class A gas line, you're going to have this motorized. And so you can see that oh, even the cabinets pop down. So you, this is not quite all the way down. Um, I've left it sort of down, if that makes any sense, just so that you can see you can use this at just about any height. Now they hide the button for this operation. Up here in the cabinet, it's high and tucked away. And the reason they do that is they don't want children to be operating this. Um, those motors don't know somebody's there, uh, a pet, a toy, whatever. You can tear up your camper and you can certainly hurt somebody. So that, that button is hidden. Your awning functions are right here. I love that. Again, it's a, it's a nice safety feature to keep kids from deploying things that 
really don't need to be messed with. Um, as we look at this floor plan, I thought this is what was the super winner here. Both of these seats are gonna swivel around and they're gonna join the rest of the living space. So we have a great living area where people can have a great conversation. The theater seats that you're seeing right here are power, lighted, heat, and massage. Um, if you're hooked up to 110 power, they will operate. It's not something they're gonna do off of the battery, which is what we're running right now. But the great thing is you can sit here and see the TV directly. I know a lot of my customers really complain about the fact that some manufacturers locate that television at an angle and they're craning their neck to see TV. The good news is it's right across and it's on a televator. There's a button that operates it right here. There it goes. Up and down. So it's a great way to get it up and out of the way or down and out of the way so that you can enjoy the scenery, which is one of the reasons we go camping in the first place. Well, one of the things I want to point out to you is there's linoleum everywhere you see. No carpeting anywhere, especially under the dinette. So it's much easier to clean. That dinette, by the way, does pop down and make into a, a little bed. There is a, a lock here. You flip this over and this just scoots down. Cushions go on top of the tabletop and then that turns into a bed. And we did lose another bed here with the theater seats. But remember, we still have a bunk tucked away. So if you wanted to have a guest, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, friends, whoever, you still have an opportunity to sleep somebody. And when you're not, it's up and out of the way. I want to point out a couple things in the kitchen. First of all, we're on solid surface countertops. That is a standard with the Murata. And we've got a beautiful actual ceramic piece back here that goes all the way around for a backsplash. So not that just sticky plastic stuff. This is the real deal. Well, pretty standard three burner cooktop. They've gone ahead and included the oven. I know that there's a raging debate right now about whether ovens belong <laughs> still in campers or not, but some people like them. You get a big residential size microwave. That'll do the duty. All right, we're gonna step back a little bit. This is a split bath floor plan, which means you've got a shower on this side and toilet and sink on the other. This is a pretty big shower. I mean, I'm kind of a small person, but there's plenty of room and with that skylight, Tall guys are not going to be bumping their heads. Of course, we've got the flexibility of moving this shower head around. And we have a little bit of a pan, enough that if you had a pet that you needed to clean up, there's a little bit of water that you can use at the bottom. Now we step into the bedroom. King size bed, folks. This is awesome. The light that you're seeing in the cabinet over the bed is actually where their CPAP station is. I'm gonna crawl up on the bed here. Being careful not to get my shoes on the bedspread. This pops open. If you're using a breathing machine, it sets here, plugs in right there, and hoses come down right here. Let's see if I can get a hold of it. There we are. Hoses come down right here. So everything can be put up and out of the way. This LED light disc is a great backlighting source if you don't want a whole lot of light on in your, in your coach. You do have two more LED discs under the cabinets for reading. And they even included some windows on both sides of the slide out box. That just gives you that much more airflow through here. Now you are on two 15K uh, air conditioners with heat pumps. Back here is a great big window. That's actually your emergency exit. We're not gonna pull it open too, 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 too far right now. This would be where your washer dryer would go. You can get washer, or actually washer dryer prep is included from the factory. Um, and you can get a stackable washer dryer either from the factory or you can add it aftermarket later. That's something that we will do for you. Look at all of this storage. This is amazing. And these drawers are good size. You know, sometimes you're disappointed when you open these up and you realize that there's only about that much space, but no, they're pretty, pretty standard size here. And then of course you've got this storage here. You also have a little shirt closet up here and then the secret compartment. This is one of the things that I absolutely love about a coachman. They have this extra storage area behind the television. It's a great place to put valuables if you're traveling with a firearm um, and you don't want the kids to know where that is. Most folks are not gonna know that that television actually opens up on a hinge. Well, folks, this is just a really quick look at the Murata 315KS. If you have questions, please give me a call. I'm Susan Dillman Stills at Mount Comfort RV.